I'm on the road to a neighborhood garage sale in Newcastle, which is um, east of Seattle. That's where some of the rich neighborhoods are. But I only have a limited amount of time. I got a couple hours to um, garage sale because I am going to a lunch with my dad and family because it's his birthday. So that's why I got to cut it short. Um, but I figured I could get a, at least a couple hours in. All right, let's see what I can get. All right, back from the Newcastle neighborhood garage sales. Here's all the stuff I picked up. Not too many items, but again, I was limited on time. Um, I'll show you guys the map here. There was uh, about 50 houses or so. Uh, participating um, and it's a neighborhood garage sale. There's actually a couple uh, neighborhoods that were participating. Uh, here is the first thing I picked up. This is a Famicom disc system. So if you guys haven't seen this before, uh, here's kind of a shot of what it looks like. It goes on the bottom of the Famicom system and there's an adapter that uh, connects to the top and the cartridges are actually like this floppy base discs. Um, this was only available and released in Japan. Um, Ten bucks for this. Uh, he originally had it for twenty, and I was able to haggle him down to ten. Um, he had a lot of other um, Japanese games available, um, but a lot of them were for PS2 and PC Engine. Um, he did say he had a Turbo Duo Neo Geo CD CD uh, Neo Geo CD and a Neo Geo AES system. Um, and I left my number and email address so he might send me some pictures and maybe I'll um, get a good score. So we'll find out maybe next time we have a video or next week. So these are some Wii games I picked up. We have Mario Kart, Wii Sports Resort, and these were two bucks each. Um, Koro Rinpa, Marble Mania. WarioWare Smooth Moves, one of my favorite Wii titles, Mario Party 8, Animal Crossing City Folk, and Wii Sports. They had a bunch of others, but um, I decided to just pick the better ones. But two bucks a piece, maybe even the cheaper ones I should have picked up and traded away, but I decided to pass on them. Then we have these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Pixels uh, DVD. I heard this was a horrible movie, um, I haven't seen it yet, but for 50 cents each, I picked up all these, and they're all sealed, so they haven't been watched yet. I got this 12-foot uh, HDMI cable, that was a dollar. Um, Beauty and the Beast Special Edition, I picked this up for a buck, I will probably be uh, listing that somewhere on Craigslist or maybe eBay or something get my money back. Um, I'm sure that's worth more than what I paid. We got another copy of Wii Sports and this was a dollar and there was a copy of Lego Batman so that was cool. Always check the cases. And then I got this pink DS or it was like metallic pink and it's in good condition. It did come with the charger. Ten dollars for this. So we got some games. We got Nintendogs, Pets, Horses 2, Yoshi's Island DS, Zelda Phantom Hourglass, Pokemon White 2, and Super Mario 64. And there were a bunch of houses that I went to saying that they had some games earlier in the day. Um, which is weird because I was there pretty early so maybe as I was uh, driving around other people were already asking for games which is typical but I, I missed out on some. But you can't get them all. I got this uh, Mario shirt. This was 50 cents. It's in pretty good condition. And then these, actually these were on the way home. I got these ones. We got this gun called Protector 2 and it's compatible with uh, PS2 and Sega Saturn. That was a dollar. These controllers were a dollar each as well. A blue Xbox controller and a blue translucent uh, PS2 controller. We have the best of Draw 50 with um, Lee Ames and that's a Philips CDI game. 
We've got Wildfire. This is an electronic pinball game. And apparently they got it at Value Village. And I paid five bucks for this. That's probably around what they paid for it. Um, this goes for a lot more than five bucks online, especially complete in box. Um, I'll probably be trading that off because I don't collect uh, pinball games. And this was a pretty cool garage sale I went to. Everything was free. So he had a free sign. Um, it was all nasty and gunky. I actually had to clean some of these cases, but they cleaned up pretty nicely. We got NBA Jam for Xbox, Sonic Heroes. We got NBA Inside Drive 2004, Total Immersion Racing. And I actually didn't have um, NBA Jam, um, Total Immersion Racing, or Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. So that was pretty cool. Um, and we got Samurai Showdown Sen, and I think I have this, so this is probably an extra, I'll have to check. Um, but for free, I'll take those. He also had some PSP games, um, they had some water damage, so I just took out the, uh, the artwork and the manual, threw those away. There weren't any games, for these two at least, but cases for the PSP are pretty hard to come by. So that's all. Hey guys, I'm here at the Fred Myers parking lot. I just got done meeting up with some guy I met on Craigslist. Uh, he had a Wii for sale, a Wii bundle. Um, let's take a look at the games. It was 40 bucks for everything. So we got Wii Fit, Mario Kart for Wii, Rayman Raving Rabbids. We have Metroid Prime 3, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Super Smash Brawl, just Dance Summer Party, Mario Party 8, WarioWare Smooth Moves, and I just got a copy of that last week, so that's another one. Then we got Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, which is probably the best port of the game, in my opinion. Then, of course, we got the Wii console, a couple controllers, nunchuck, and uh, some component cables. So all that for 40 bucks, not bad. Hey guys, I'm back in my car. I just got out of Cash America Pawn Shop. Picked up some uh, Super Nintendo games. Don't often see retro games at the pawn shop in bulk, but they had a bunch. Um, we got Super Mario World for $9.99. I did leave a, a lot of them that I didn't need. Um, they had a lot of sports titles, so uh, I didn't need those. We have uh, Power Rangers uh, Zeo Battle Racers. That was $2. And lastly, we have Donkey Kong Country for $7.99. So the total was uh, $21 and change after tax. So not too bad. Hey guys, I just picked up a couple N64 systems off Craigslist, and I'll show you guys right here. So we have two N64s. Comes with uh, Donkey Kong 64. Pretty good shape and even came with an expansion pack which is nice and all the cords and three controllers we got two official Nintendo brand controllers and then we have one third-party controller and the sticks are pretty decent so I was pretty happy with that it was 50 bucks total for everything in this box um, and one of the reasons why I decided to pick it up and meet up with him is because he said he had more um, consoles, accessories, and games in his closet. So I figured if I buy this now, um, he'll most likely contact me again if he decides to clear out his closet of games. And if he gave me all this for 50 bucks, that means he has pretty fair prices for his games and, and systems. And then I'll show you guys um, a thrift shop pickup right here. Let me just clear this stuff out. And this is my thrift store pickup. I got Dance Dance Revolution Disney Grooves. Paid $20 for it. Originally when it first came out, it was $70 brand new. Um, I think $20 is a great deal because it comes with two dance pads and a game. Um, this usually goes for $50 plus dollars, even more online. Plus you gotta pay that hefty shipping fee because this is a big box since it comes with two dance pads. So I thought $20 was definitely a fair price. I also picked up 
uh, Fishing Master World Tour for $4. This usually goes for $15 and up. Um, the Fishing Master I'll probably trade off. I'm definitely keeping the Dance Dance Revolution Disney Groups because I only had the game, um, but now I have the big box bundle. So paid $24 plus tax. Uh, the bad thing is I showed up 15 minutes later than I usually do at this thrift store and there was a guy in the collectibles where the games are at and he picked up a bunch of good quality titles some pokemon games some spyro games um for wii and ps2 and he got some pretty good xbox games so that's just a lesson early bird gets the worm <laughs>